as uh, this presentation is continued uh, okay. uh, last class also, so I will be continuing from the uh, fifth uh, topic under the chapter special, special dimension in cultural research. So in uh, cultural research, uh, space also uh, does have a lot of space. And space is a thing that was not very considered before 1950s or 60s. Uh, before that, uh, the position or the <coughs> time or the um, family race used to have uh, much more space or much more uh, priority than the space. And uh, later after 60s or, uh, or 50s, the space uh, came into uh, existence or the, the topic or the, um, the concept of space uh, come into existence, it was more um, explicitly talked and discussed. So uh, talking about those, uh, you know, that special dimension in the cultural research, we have uh, the next topic that we're going to talk about is uh, uh, virtual space. And the virtual space is the most known space to us because we are the kids of 21st century and we are so much uh, surrounded by the virtual world, especially internet that lies in our mobile, in our desktop computer, in our PC. Uh, so it seems that the uh, virtual world doesn't exist. It lies somewhere in the sky, somewhere in the cloud. But actually, if you look into it detailedly, actually virtual world also have space. The space lies in the office of Google or in the office of uh, Facebook, they have really big, huge uh, hard drives, which is actually so big that it can cover the space of all users around the world. So uh, actually, uh, virtual world appears that it is not physically somewhere, somewhere there, but somewhere in the sky, but actually it also lies somewhere in the hard drive of Google Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. <clears throat> so to give more detailed information about it, I will uh, read something. As we have already discussed about the role of physical space and its contributions in cultural research, but there exists another kind of space too, which also helps us to proceed our research forward, which is known as virtual space or digital space. One of the most challenging of this space has been cyberspace, which operates as both a metaphor, as both a metaphor and as a lived practice. Here, we should, want, we should not get confused while talking about the cyberspace, <coughs> as it is not cyber place. So, space and place uh, is the thing that we get would uh, get confused. Uh, space lies inside the place. So there is a place, like there is a Tribune University, there is a, the class of section C, and inside the section C in this physical arena, the space is here. So space lies in the place. So uh, space, uh, place is a matter of closeness, attachment, and where we can go or visit, whereas space matters on, space is a, is a matter of distance, where we can't easily go, we can we ha we can have a relation with people by means of virtual world. Therefore, cyber is always a space, whereas home or place, home or a situation or a location is a place. William Gibson describes it as a, a consensual hallucination that is not really a place and not really a space. The idea of cyberspace thus occupies and describes space that are both real and unreal. So we get confused with this real and unreal thing, as I've already described that it is actually real, it lies somewhere in the hard drive. <clears throat> real in the sense that it includes the real physical space of computer chip and the neural networks, the network that connects the internet. So cyberspace may thus be especially uh, separated, yet also special, socially conjoined. It stretches space <coughs> while it also helps us to create new virtual companies. As Henry Lefebvre has coined three okay. different theoretical tools, which are uh, representational space, 
representation, uh, representation space, representational space, and spatial practices. And this cyberspace comes under the second point, represent, repre representational space or experiential space, which is re related to the feeling. So the, the next uh, topic is complex places. So under this complex places, we have four uh, more subtopics. While place influences our research, we have to engage explicitly. We have to think or consider upon our own cultural space too. While doing research on other culture, we must also understand the culture within which we, within which they have been uh, fashioned or constructed. So first topic, site. <coughs> site is a location, either local or global. <coughs> the concept of site was saddled by power relation of class, and after in intervention of feminist and geographical critic, it began to be programmed. It is effectively constructed by the researcher in the process of the research. Scale. Scale is a place area unit. Uh, here, scale refers to the social or political boundaries while doing culture research. As such scales are always in process of uh, processes, uh, immigrant and residual, <coughs> emergent and residual rather than fixed and absolute. In more recent years, uh, this scale has expanded from national to international genre, like travel writing and so on, or global researches. Scapes. Scape is, scapes is related to the flow of people or entity, and that takes place in the contem contemporary time or globalization. Indian American intellectual Arjun uh, Apaduri uh, has coined terms such as ethnoscape, uh, this, which means the flow of people, and he also talks about the flow of information, flow of money, uh, flow of ideas, uh, flow of information from the mass media. So uh, this scape means or talks about the flow, which also helps in the cultural research. Maps. A map is a sketch of certain location. So this point is depicts the emergence of new insight while mapping. It challenges official record or official policy. Map can be taken as an important document as research uh, for the cultural research. For example, uh, there is an example in the book that uh, uh, there, was a, uh, there was a research conducted by Oxfam or some other organization. And in Sindhupalji, they told the peoples to make the map of their village. And they constructed the map of village. And they also wrote, uh, they also draw the, um, the social buildings and the hospitals that actually were not there. So, uh, so while doing that, if you ask for the same map to the official uh, peoples of the uh, government officials or bureaucrats, they would just give you the official map which is more you know, talks, uh, which more talks about the political topography and so. So in this uh, local mapping, uh, people uh, not only told about what there was, but what would there be or what they wanted to be. So this localization of mapping uh, talks more about the expectation of the people, what they really want uh, in the village, in the local place. So now we come to the <clears throat> seventh uh, topic that is bringing all this together again, uh, transdisciplinary uh, integration. So this transdisciplinary uh, is the term that is the um, uh, adding or, uh, of the two words that is uh, trans and disciplinary. So discipline, as we know the discipline, so when, it, when the two discipline trans, or conjoined or come together, it becomes transdisciplinary. So the <clears throat> this topic shows how a historical and a feminist model were combined in order to produce an account of the meaning attached to the space. Especially, spe speciality and place is politically embedded in feminist research as well as being grounded um, uh, in the understanding of the past. Feminist and cultural historians have explored the way in which women use uh, use of urban space and the uh, uh, gendering of space in the city has been culturally produced and mapped. 
there are there was a huge that division between the private and the public sphere as we have already talked about that in the modernity uh, sphere certain space was constructed for uh, women but they dressed the street of urban space and re-emphasized their special dimensions. So I come to the conclusion and I would like to repeat or uh, give some uh, major ideas from the previous topic. That is, the theories derived from one instance may challenge and, ex uh, and extend it by thinking that comes from the elder instance, which means like uh, the theories uh, come through the course of time, in, in one course of time, by one incident, one critic comes up with one theory, which will be challenged, or uh, that uh, some, uh, which will be challenged by some other critics, and by other instance, some other critic may make a point of departure from that. So, uh, so theor the theories uh, make change with the course of time. The space is not static, but disruptive active and fluid. So it is more fluid, so it appears that it is not there, it doesn't lie, but actually it does. Space and place influence the research we do, and we do that, and the virtual space is both real and unreal, I'll just talk about it, and sight, scales, scapes, and maps are affecting factors in cultural research. Historical and feminist models are combined to produce the meaning of certain species, and at last, I would like to repeat the same line repeated by, uh, told by Babina, that is, we should make space for a space while doing cultural research. Thank you very much. Can I help you? Yes, you must contribute it up. Somehow. What is that? <coughs> 